Good evening. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life. I'm going to have a play with the new color art series that I got, the Drake, I think it's Dragon Wings. Um, some really fun, fun, uh, pearlescent, iridescent beautifulness. And they are... So I got these in the mail a couple days ago. So this one is Sweet Pea or Shy Rose, and it's kind of a real soft pink, and it seems to shift blue. This is Sweet Pea or no Pink Parasol. It's a more of a powder pink, kind of lavender shift. This one is Sweet Pea. It's a very, so if I'm taping, please be quiet. It's a very, very soft pink. And it shifts. Uh, bright pink, I think. It's very subtle. Uh, this one is called Mermaid Scales. And it's a delicious mermaid. It's, it's exactly what you think of when you think of a mermaid. My only issue is that it seems like I've had to do twice, two scoops to get the color to really pop, which is very weird for color art because usually it's amazing every time. I also noticed that the jars didn't seem to be mixed up. I don't know if you can see this. When I open it, half of the pigments one color half is the other this one's good and full at least I have a couple of the other ones that they're barely anything in them which is frustrating because this stuff is not cheap and um, so I'm gonna send them an email um, it's my understanding they have incredible customer service this one is Freesia and it's kind of a pink blue. It's beautiful. I, I, so far though, I have used a couple of them the other day and I think they're magical. This is Pixie Dust, which I've seen tons of people use and it looks amazing. I have not used it yet. Um, I have Liquitex Daxazine Purple, Liquitex Blue Turquoise, or Turquoise Blue, and then I have the Mystic Blue and Firefly, which I don't think I'm gonna use this. Oh, and then the uh, Bling It Gold Sparkle, which is by far my favorite Bling It color. So I'm gonna move these aside. I gotta get a couple sticks for the two tube paints. Uh, I mixed these up a couple days ago. I always like to do a couple dark colors when I have this much light colors. I don't even need to mix it. I got, I got my pouring medium perfect right now, except that with the when you, when you have the color pigments, they tend to be a little bit on the thinner side, and the two paints are a lot thicker. And when they sit around, they get even thicker. So you kind of have to play that into the back of your head when you are planning out a pour to keep that in mind. The pigments are going to be thinner and the two paints are going to be thicker. So for today's paint, pillow paint is Color Place. This is the Antique White. I did this container which is a half gallon with eight ounces of Oatrol, two ounces of XIM, and three ounces of GAC 800. Um, I really don't want my paint to crack so I like to do that to it. good size pillow on here and this is antique white so it's not as oh I didn't hook up my get my hair dryer um, cell activator today so I got my Aussie flow trawl in which it's like Christmas come early my favorite thing in the entire planet right now is Aussie flow trawl and it is it's just a game changer. I don't care what anybody says. I have tried out 40 different 
American versions. And to be honest, they work ish. But once you go to Aussie Floetrol, you just, there is just no comparison. I'm sorry. But it is expensive. So if you don't want to spend the money, I get it. Because um, they are, it is not cheap. Okay, everything's plugged in. All right, so I've been mapping this out in my head a little bit. I'm gonna go with the turquoise first. This is the Liquitex turquoise blue. Oops. I'm gonna put mermaid scale Mom. on top of that. Yes, honey. Can I have a Kinder Joy bar? If you can get it yourself without destroying the kitchen. Okay. Um, so that was a mermaid scales. This is the pixie dust. This is in purple. Frasia. Just doing a little spoonful since I had the mixing spoons. Let's go with what is this cutie? Pink parasol. Pepto-Bismol pink, but in a good way. Um, and this is Shy Rose. Oh wait, no. Yeah, Shy Rose, and then this one is Sweet Pea. Scale, pixie dust, and gold sparkle. Just a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to rethink that. I, I did like it with a little bit of the darkness back on top the last time. So that's the dioxazine purple. And then I'm going to go freesia. Pixie dust and then gold sparkle. I think. I think. These are nice clean puddles. There's no nothing messy outside of my grips. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. I have a nasty habit of knocking paint over. cleaned up my art space today. I feel so somewhat organized. She is it's so much easier to work if you keep your area organized. Okay, so cell activator. I'm gonna do white and and permanent blue violet. And these are both Amsterdam, the glossy floor troll. Okay, so stay. I'm gonna put a little bit of the purple down. It's hard to see a halo when you have the gold sparkle down. Hopefully the white shows me a halo. Yep, 
instantly. I don't really even see any bumps today. Yeah, maybe a few. Every time I clean up my art space, I, I can't find anything. <laughs> This is a 12 inch round birch board. It's magical. Australian floor trawl is magical. I mean, I just. It's, it's just magical. Wowza. Okay, so while that's working, I'm going to take a spoon and move some of this white around to this side. to give the paint something to slip on because I over blew a little bit. Giving a little ski slope for it to slide on. Just makes it a lot easier to deal with. And plus, with this being a wood board, it tends to suck up the paint a little bit. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So incredibly gorgeous. The lacing right here is everything. I oopsied right there, but that's okay. It's just beautiful. It's almost done recollecting itself back to the center. Let that sit for a second and keep working. I'm gonna close up these paints. I have had a lot of fun lately trying out all these new pigments. I've spent a lot of money, but it's been a good year for me for my art sales. So it's a lot of fun getting new stuff to work with and uh, try out different colors that you wouldn't normally use. And I have always loved purple and teal together. They're a beautiful combo. Uh, but it's kind of fun learning how these things react to each other and mixing up. I've never used pigments until I got color art. I used a couple micas that I had from resin. Uh, just the interference ones. The other ones didn't really work. Uh, but yeah, this is so much fun and all of the colors from color art I have not found really one. I don't like I am not a huge fan of anything brown or green like Olive green I did buy the olive one olive vine. I think this is called and It's not my thing, but it worked just fine in the painting. I used it in and I don't really like red hugely, but the red colors that color has is so, so incredibly saturated. Hey, Soph! Okay, why don't you go to your room since you're not behaving correctly? Well, that doesn't mean you act like a... Sophia and Ava. Honey, I'm recording. Please stop.
Okay, go to your room. If you're not gonna behave, go to your room. You can stay out here if you can act right. Oh, I don't understand why every single time I tape a video, they have to be monsters. They could be quiet all day long, perfect little angels. The second I'm recording, they get loud and irritating. It's so funny, it's just hilarious. I think it's hilarious. It's not funny. It's not cute either. I have to pay attention to my table because the center will go cuckoo. it is not level and I, it's close but it's enough that it messes with what you're working on so a little bit messed up daddy must have had to work late you guys need to think about what you want for dinner that better not be another candy bar Sophia means but as long as it's not candy all right so you realize I can hear you guys right I bought a few purples um, Liquitex purples doxazine purple One's prism purple, and I forget the other one, but they are awesome purples. and we'll spin this out and see what coolness is hiding under all that paint. Hoping I can straighten out that center a little bit. Oh, look at all that sparkle. Is that magical? I think a little snappy. Okay, ready? Just probably have to spin a, a little tiny bit more because of the edge. And I'm just gonna go like that a little bit. Are you recording? Yes, I am. I always go if I go clockwise, I go counterclockwise. Okay, seriously? You know I'm recording, and then you choose to be very loud. Excuse me. Wow, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yikes, I love it. I still don't love that little spot right there where I got a little funkiness. I might be able to get that to straighten out and I gotta touch up the edges. Just take my finger and dab it and it'll even itself out. Wow, it's super pretty. Okay, I think it's a winner though. Really, the detail is awesome. Just 
touching up the edges while I'm letting you stare at its marvelness, marvelousness. Awesome. Okay. I still want to try to straighten out the little bend right there, but I think it's amazing. The layers and that change between the opaque, you know, semi transparent versus transparent pigments. It just it allows you to see so much detail. It's insane. And doing the two different cell activators makes such a huge difference. I am a huge fan of doing that. All right, I think it's done. All right, you guys, if you liked the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, also, if you would like to be notified of future videos, hit that bell so that way you're notified. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and your support is amazing. All right, we'll see you on the next pour. Bye for now.